I was asked, how do I think that this is going to play out? How do I think that, um, you know, the, the political stuff is going to play out? And I'm like, well, I, I think that no matter what anybody does, we're screwed because of something called tyranny of the majority. And the majority are still, you know, I mean, I, I, I think that boomers are still the clear majority, though if Gen X, Millennials, and Zoomers all voted in lockstep, they might be able to overthrow the boomers, um, but that's probably not going to happen. So, you know, so boomers are still the majority, and they're going to get whatever they want, which means, you know, higher rents. Uh, it means, you know, the stock market continuing to go up, even though there's no real reason for it to go up. It doesn't make any fundamental sense. If you look at all, you know, if you look at any of the fundamentals, none of it makes any sense. Everything is in decline. Yet, for whatever reason, it's just going to keep going up. Well, it's because of money being printed and given to fucking illegals to spend in these in these stores, and and then make their way back to the banks and pay off all these stupid loans, or you know, pay on, pay interest on all these loans that these companies have taken out. You ever notice that? And, and I don't know if anybody else notices this, but I mean, as a businessman, you know, you ever notice this? Why is it always and forever that these that these mega companies are constantly in debt? They constantly have to be borrowing billions and billions of dollars to stay in, in business. If it's a profitable business, you shouldn't have to be constantly borrowing money, right? Anybody who's, if you if you understand anything at all about business, like, well, okay, if you're having something that's actually profitable, if you're actually involved in a profitable enterprise, you shouldn't constantly be having to borrow money. One of those for expansion. Expansion into a, an economy that's in actual decline, that's in, make that make sense, no. No, no, no. Like, no, you're, you're expanding for no reason at all. You're expanding for the sake of expansion. And the idea is that they're going to throw open the borders and flood the country with a bunch of fucking illegals. That's exactly what they're going to do. The idea being that, well, Americans didn't reproduce. No, Americans didn't reproduce. And number one, because you told everybody that the, you know, you won the war on teen pregnancy back in the 80s and 90s. This is, for you younger people, you don't remember this. Gen Xers will remember this shit. It was all the rage to talk about how, oh my God, if you get pregnant when you're 18, it's going to ruin your life and it's going to totally destroy everything about you. And that worked, that propaganda worked. And so a bunch of people didn't have any fucking kids because, well, corporate America wanted cheap labor. That's all it is. Remember, corporate America exists because it needs progressively cheaper and cheaper and cheaper and cheaper labor. That's the whole goal. Americans are too expensive, which is why they're trying to replace you. That's, that's, that's just, that's, that's objective. Americans are saying, hey, hold on, it's time to cash in on those promises that you, you made to us. You made us all these promises. You told us, you know, and as I, I've said this before, I know this has happened to every millennial and every Zoomer. I mean, like they're totally, you, you told us to go to school, get good grades, and go to college, get all this debt, and then go out there and, into the world and we're going to be successful. And now everybody's trying to cash in on all those bullshit promises. Now, that's, that was bullshit from back in the day. I mean, I remember telling people back in the 90s that that was bullshit. But a bunch of people believed it because it kept getting sold to them over and over by everybody, by media, by their parents over and over. How many times, you know, like we, we see these things where like parents threaten to disown their kids if they get bad grades or if they don't go to college or some shit like that. Like this is the kind of shit that some kids dealt with. Some people dealt with that kind of nonsense. And so this is, this is we're now experiencing the aftermath of that, right? So because nobody really decided to actually have kids, well, we're in decline. So the idea is we're going to throw open the borders and flood the country with a bunch of fucking illegals. Well, that means that you're going to be replaced, right? I mean, that's that's how that works. You're, you're, they're replacing you with cheaper and cheaper labor. Now, the loser tardians out there say, well, you're just, you know, you're just afraid to compete with the, with, with the, with the, with the fucking illegals. No, I'm not afraid to compete with the fucking illegals. What I don't want to do is I don't like competing against people that are subsidized on the back end. And that's what the loser tardians refuse to acknowledge. Every loser tardian out there refuses to acknowledge that. They, you know, they, they talk a good game. As with most loser tardians, they talk a good game. But as soon as they go up against actual experience, not some theoretical bullshit nonsense in some book they read by, by, you know, by Von Mises or some shit like that years of fucking go. And then they, they, they extrapolate from there, losing the actual principles of what he actually talked about in terms of the economy and saying, okay, and then trying to continue to try to apply free market principles to a captured fucking economy that we have. We have a captured economy. You don't apply free market fucking principles to a captured economy. Dude, I showed you how to play Monopoly. I showed you. I, I, there was a video on it. I showed you guys how to play fucking Monopoly for real and how they play Monopoly for real. So no, that shit doesn't fucking work. This, the loser tardians refuse to acknowledge that. They, they refuse, refuse to acknowledge these people are fucking subsidized. 
on the back end. Dude, I'll compete. Give me $3,500 a month for doing fuck all. G give me free rent. Give me free cell phones and all the other bullshit that they get. And free healthcare and Medicaid. Ah, oh, all kind of nonsense. Give me all that stuff. Dude, I'll compete against them. No problem at all. There's no problem at all. I can work for 12 bucks an hour. Sure. I don't have to make any real money because I'm getting all that money tax-free. So fuck off with uh, with your nonsense about how you know, people are afraid to compete with, with a bunch of fucking illegals. No, dude, it's that they're fucking subsidized. And younger people are starting to put that together, thankfully. Thankfully, younger people, young, well, let me, and again, younger is under 55 at this point. That's how bad it's gotten. We all think of like younger people as, oh, you mean like 20 somethings? No, 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 under 55 at this point. It's that fucking bad. That's why anybody out there voting, you know, you're thinking like, oh, I'm gonna vote for Trump and Trump's gonna fix all this shit. Trump is fucking dangerous. You understand? Let me explain why he's dangerous. Here's what'll happen. People are panicked. They're like, okay, let's vote for Trump. And then as soon as he wins, here's what would happen. Nothing. And everybody will go right back to bed. They'll go, oh, okay, Trump's got this. No big deal. Oh, okay, he's, he's got all this and he's going to deport all these. Elites. He's not going to deport shit, dude. His, dude, his real estate holdings alone would lose millions, hundreds of millions of dollars in value. Because who are his primary customers? Other real estate shit bags, right? All these other real estate fucking bros. And, you know, who are making money off of all these subsidized fucking illegals, right? So, no, he's not going to do that. He's not going to, he's not going to cut his own throat. Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck no, dude. Anybody who's, you know, Trump's job is to, is to make sure you get four years older. That's, 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 that's Trump's job. Okay. That's the job of, of, of either one of these fucking boomer or silent gen cocksuckers. Any of these fucking guys is to make sure you get four years older. And, and waiting for change, waiting for like, okay, maybe this time they're going to actually, you're, you're like, you're like, uh, you're like Charlie Brown trying to think he's going to kick the fucking football. Dude, you're not going to kick the fucking football, man. Stop. Stop, stop playing that fucking game. And that's exactly what this is about. So it's designed to get you four years older. Oh, and, 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 and for you, for women, it's designed to get them four years less fertile. You know, for, they're, make sure that they can't have any more kids to, to get, to get rid of them. Because remember, your bloodlines aren't nearly as important, as important at all as the bloodlines of the elites. The bloodlines of the elite, that's all they give a fuck about. That's why you have guys like Hunter, Hunter fucking Biden can get away with literally anything. There is nothing that motherfucker can do that will ever get him in trouble. Nothing, nothing. He can do any goddamn thing and nothing will ever happen to him. Why? Because he's protected. That's protected bloodlines, dude. They're not going to do shit to him. He's, he's, he's all but fucking royalty. Okay, so, you know, if you, want, if you want shit to actually change, dude, nothing in this world politically has ever changed dare I say it, without 2A. Nothing, nothing has ever changed. So, you know, and I, like, dude, there, there is no other way for me to point that out, it, but it's the fucking truth, okay? So, no, that's, so anybody you think you're gonna vote your way out of this and you're gonna vote for any one of these fucking boomers, and once again, I know I talk about Gen X candidates periodically, right? You know, you see me talk about, you know, Gen X candidates. Look, dude, if a Gen X, if a serious candidate actually were to emerge and, and, and like talk about real fucking issues, they'd be deplatformed by big tech so fucking fast. They'd be fucking vaporized off, off big tech. You, you couldn't get, they'd be on fucking 4chan be, <laughs> to get any play. And no one's on 4chan, right? The majority of people are not on 4chan. The majority of people, dude, no, socialist media would, would unplatform someone like that fucking super fast. So even including TikTok. Because, you know, like they don't, China doesn't want to have the dollar go to shit. I would love to see the collapse of the dollar personally because it's a dog shit currency and it needs to be replaced. Objectively. It, like it's objective at this point that, dude, it doesn't buy anything. It doesn't do anything. You're just, you have people working harder than they've ever worked, making more dollars than they've ever made, going backward faster than they've ever gone. It's a dog shit currency and it qualifies for hyperinflation. It's well over 15% a year. That, is, that, by the way, that's considered hyperinflation. That's all I got to say about this.